Alright then, hello there. It's me, I'm just making a small little guide video for you who don't play this game so you can understand exactly what's going on. It's a small little unit and building guide in specific. So, first off, I'll start with the Soviet buildings as we can see here. First of all, this is the construction yard. As you would expect, this, this is capable of building many of the buildings that are in this game, especially the Soviet ones. You see here, along with defensive structures, right here. Next to it, we have the reactor, the simple power, power structure. It provides 100 power, which is necessary to, to power the base. This is the pressure crank. This is how the Soviets get their secondary build cues and build everything except the crusher crane. And this is right in here. And right here is the super reactor. This is the second tier unlock building for the Soviets. This is how they unlock their second tier units as well as providing a large source of power. Up here is the battle lab. This is the third, te the third technology building. This allows you to unlock the highest tier units in the game. Now for the production buildings. This right here is the barracks. This is where you produce infantry. Right here is the war factory where you can produce ground vehicles of the Soviet Union. And this is the airfield where all of the air units are produced. Simple enough. Right here is the ore refinery, the main method of collecting ore. This small thing is the outpost created from the Sputnik, which we will go over later. That allows you to expand to places with relative ease. Now on to the units. So first, is it is the Soviet conscript right here. These guys are armed with assault rifles that are used to fight infantry, Fighting weapon. along with Molotov cocktails that are very effective against buildings along with uh, small vehicles. These guys are flak troopers. Who wants a piece These of are the main anti-armor slash anti-aircraft units. These guys, you as you can see, can attack nobody. aircraft. You lost. As well as vehicles with these mines. magnetic mines. <laughs> Alright, flak cannon. Now then, this is a motorcycle. Call. This guy is very Cruising. fast, as Let's you can go. see here. And one, you can got throw Molotov similar to the conscripts at a much faster rate along with the Porta Mortar, which is a very effective explosive device super good against structures. Right it's the War Bear. Let's get the main anti-infantry unit of this game. They can one-shot most infantry, as well as they have an amplified roar and stun any infantry that happen to come across. And right here is the Hustle Trooper. These guys are very effective anti-armor units and can kill Let's any infantry up, in one hit. All of the young destructors that can will stop any vehicles in their path. Now this Jeez. guy right here is the Desolator. Well, probably the most powerful anti-infantry infantry in the game. This guy can instantly shoot destroy infantry with their death spray. What are you looking at? And along with this, you have the splatter shot, which can poison the enemy vehicles, which combined with the death spray allows it to reduce health very quickly. I know. So and finally, the commando, huh? Me? Natasha. Moving! She can Natasha use her Volkova. sniper rifle to shoot lines of infantry. Lost. The pleasure's all mine. As well as combat airstrikes on, on buildings and structures. As demonstrated here. Okay, that should be the infantry they can throw. Now onto the ground vehicles. Bullfrog is here for you! This right here is the Bullfrog. It is the main anti-aircraft vehicle in the game. Good night! It can easily destroy many aircraft. As well as carry infantry. Where do you like to go? Which it ejects through a thing called the man cannon. Uh, so soon? It allows it to parachute onto the ground. It allows the infantry to reach higher altitudes. 
This is the Terra Drone. It can dismantle enemy A unit is infected. vehicles from the inside, slowly reducing their health unless they happen across a repair drone from any from any repairs or weapons. We must all do our part. We've lost a collector. As well as have an ability called the Stasis Ray, which can prevent any vehicle right from here. moving. This is the sickle. Infantry, go down it has quick. many anti-infantry capabilities with their triple machine guns and can use a ability called the flea jump <laughs> to reach higher altitudes and jump on enemy infantry. What do you say? This guy right here is the hammer tank. It's the main battle tank of the Soviet army. It can oh, deal tank. heavy damage to most, most light vehicles, reducing damage to other vehicles. It comes with a clip of the leech beam. It allows it to slowly damage many enemy vehicles and structures while healing itself, and if it destroys a vehicle, it can steal its main weapon. Potentially the sickle, it gains a new anti infantry run. This is the V4 rocket launcher. It can destroy enemy, enemy vehicles and buildings from a long distance with its precision rockets, and then cover a larger ground using its multi warhead rockets. For it will split in midair and cover a much larger area. Before. This guy right here is the Apocalypse tank. This is a super heavy tank of the Soviet army. It comes equipped with these dra twin Dracon cannons, which can used to easily destroy many vehicles. It also comes with a magnetic harpoon, which will drag any enemy vehicle into its grinder. Grind it down. What should I do? Grinding this in the grinder. As it says in its name, Eagle, bye, it can bye. grind any vehicle or infantry very quickly. Its special ability <laughs> okay. allows it to go at a really fast speed for a short amount of time. Let's see if this thing now works. Then, finally, this is the Reaper. It is a tier 2 unit with anti-ground and anti-air capabilities. Let's take it out for a run! Mission rockets and aircraft. It's running pretty good. It also has an ability called the Proto Jump that allows it to instantly destroy okay. any vehicle it lands on. Provided it's an enemy vehicle. The Reaper turret can destroy ground and air targets while it's still on the ground. That shouldn't be all the vehicles, actually. Pardon me, there's one more. This guy is the Sputnik, Hello? as we already discussed. He can deploy to create an outpost, down. which lets you build in build in areas you couldn't before. Construction complete. And building right here. And now lastly there is the MCV. That can create a new construction yard that you can build from. We're on. Construction complete. Building. And done um, building radius as well. Okay, that should be all of it. Construction complete. Ready for the collection. Now then, present air units. Complete. This is twin the twin blade. blade. It happens to have both place. machine guns and rockets that it can use. Machine guns are very effective against infantry. And the rockets are getting into vehicles and structures. The are clear. unique ability of twin blades this is, is nice to close. carry infantry and vehicles. In control. You can only carry one at a time, however. The instrument of doom. Twin blade can carry any vehicle except for the NCV, Unfold as well as go over water. Quickly, pilot. Now this is the MiG fighter, the air superiority Who's fighter. It has a limited amount of rockets Let's it can fire this. to destroy any aircraft. Lock him out. Simple demonstration. Now this guy, this is the Kirov airship. This anyone? is a heavy bombardment craft it's that can destroy standing. most unit, most units and structures that want its path. However, it has no anti-air capabilities. 
It also comes equipped with a gash for burner that allows it to move at a much faster pace at the cost of some health. Oh yeah, the engine has self-repairing capabilities, much like the Apocalypse tank. So that would be all the air units. Now finally we have the naval units. Right here. This is the Stingray. Like the Tesla Trooper, its Tesla weapons can take out any enemy infantry in one shot, as well as effectively tear apart most vehicles. It has a melee called the Tesla Surge, which will deal damage to any enemy vehicles in its way. Are these scanners working? Yes. Coils standing Stingray can also go on land. Or there, it cannot I'm use its test ready. surge. Which is the Kula sub. It is, it is a submarine vessel of the Soviet Navy. Take them, As you can see here, it has a surface to fire, but there it has powerful torpedoes, including its special ability, Ultra Torpedo, which can do very heavy damage to anything it runs into. The last the thing is the Dreadnought. It's a long-range bombardment ship of the Soviet Navy. It fires V4 rockets at any enemies or structures in order to, along with sacrifice launchers, which allow it to fire at a much faster rate at the cost of health. Now then, on to my last section: defensive structures and super weapons. Right here is the Soviet sentry gun. This weapon can have can lay down heavy enemy fire upon any enemies that come across its way. It's the flak cannon anti-air defense. The flak cannon, as you can see, destroys enemy yeah, aircraft and quite efficient missiles. So that's the coil, the advanced space defense of the Soviets. It can fire at a long range. It takes a long time to charge up, but is very decimating to any enemies it comes across. For the last two, this is the Iron Curtain. In a select area, it can make any unit or structure invincible. However, it is lethal infantry. Select target. Here we go. Vacuum imploder. This weapon sucks any vehicles as well into its thing, instantly destroying it along with dealing heavy damage to enemy structures. 